Hi everyone, in this video we will see how to set up Parkmon collector in JMeter. Uh, in previous video we have seen how to uh, how to install Parkmon designer in JMeter. Now we will see how to set up Parkmon metric collector by using the JMeter and uh, uh, Parkmon tool uh, uh, agent or Parkmon agent in JMeter. So first I have added simple request and uh, simple letter configuration. Now we need to add a simple, uh, we need to add a listener, Parkmon listener. So to add that listener, I have added, I'm going to listener and I'm selecting the Parkmon metric connector. So just to start a, a Parkmon agent in your server, uh, click on this documentation showing on here, help on this plugin. So when you click on this, it will open a browser here. It will open a browser tab. Uh, when you click it, that it will open in a browser help document. By default, uh, set browser. So I in the main machine it was set as H. So it was open in the Microsoft Edge. So after opening the documentation, scroll down to installation part. Yeah, in, in if you go to the installation section, you will have an a link here. Uh, open that link. Uh, when when you open that link, it will redirect to this hub page where you have an uh, Parkmon agent. So it was still loading. Uh, when you have a Parkmon agent. Page loaded. Uh, select the latest version of your agent and make sure you are using the right Java version to run this agent. So download this. After downloading the agent, extract in your local, in, in, extract in your server, so not in your local. So wherever from which server metrics you want to uh, pull during the load test. So run the run those uh, uh, metric, run those. Uh, in those machines, so where you want to get your metrics, so what server you want, in which server you are uh, looking for the metrics, so, uh, copy into that machine, and if that machine belongs to Windows, uh, then uh, run the uh, start agent dot bat file. If it's a Linux machine, Linux or Linux machine, run the start agent dot uh, shell file. So now I'm showcasing in uh, uh, Windows machine, so I'm running in the uh, bat file. Once you run the bat file, it, it was started by, you can see the agent started. So if the agent is down, it will not connect and it will not send the metrics to the uh, JMeter. So once the agent is up, uh, go to the JMeter, your script and uh, get the port here. Uh, add a row, click add row. So here my default port is localhost. So uh, default, I mean, I'm doing in the localhost. So I'm uh, doing putting as in the localhost. Here you need to mention your server IP address. And the port double for double port. So before doing this setup, so make sure you have disabled the firewall or you have added the uh, firewall exception for the port double port double port. Okay, so uh, otherwise you won't start uh, uh, send the data from the server to your uh, uh, JMeter. So as it was already in the server, when you when it was server, so the security will be very high. So make sure before you start your setup, uh, get a firewall exemption to uh, uh, read or get the metric from the server. And when you add that, so I have a CPU here. So under CPU, you have multiple metrics here. So now currently I want to pull the CPU. Under CPU, you still we have an option to get the different types of metrics for a CPU. So you want to get it for a specific process. You can uh, you can specify the uh, uh, process uh, percentage or uh, process details separately. If you want to overall, you can get it by overall. Uh, and uh, for all the process, for all the CPU, overall CPU, and the specific processor CPU. So, uh, by if you want to CPU, uh, but uh, with specific to uh, user or the system idle time or combine or this thing, so still you can get those information. So, if you want to get the specific uh, code, still you can get the specific code here. So, as of now, I don't require it. I'm making it, making, uh, making it as a CPU, overall CPU. And I'm adding one more listener here. The listener will be, uh, I'm adding the row. Now instead of uh, CPU, I will take the memory. And instead of, uh, uh, I will take the all, all over memory used. So I'm taking the used memory now. So if you see here, if you see here, so, uh, the agent is started, but not, it was not showing any information here. So I'm running the script. So when I run the script, uh, you will see here the agent that's connected. Yeah, the accepting the TCP connection will say test and it's connected. Measuring uh, CPU and the memory. Okay, so if you come back to your perform uh, listeners, 
So it was collecting the data. So the problem of the performance collector in JMeter is it has to keep running. If if the server is not running, uh, if your JMeter sorry, if your JMeter is not running, uh, JMeter script is not running, it will not collect the data. So so make sure the how you collect your uh, metrics. So it will collect when you run your test with and the performance listener, it will collect the metrics during your execution time itself, not after or before of your execution. So this is the CPU what is seen. So it will reach it to 90% at some point. And if you come to the memory, memory, uh, it we had it's 13 GB, uh, uh, 16 GB machine. So it will reach almost all 13 GB of time, loose memory at some point of time. There we establish a connection. So at the same time we have the CPU spike as well. So it was still continuing until the script runs. Uh, it will it will collect the metric for every 10 seconds. Uh, five seconds based on the configuration what we have. So if you see that it's still uh, it's still uh, collecting the information. Now it's disconnected. Now the test has stopped. Now the test has stopped, and you see the uh, client has disconnected and disconnected for the memory and for the CPU. For the both requests, it was disconnected, and this was the uh, memory. This was the CPU recorded, and this was the memory recorded. Okay, thanks for uh, listening this. So uh, please. Uh, share, like, and subscribe this video.